Dr. Frank. Um, Morning, Professor. The news this week has been unusual in that uh, two quite well-known people, one a dress designer, a clothes designer, and one a person who's known for a number of different things um, and well-known on the internet as a chef and a traveler, I think. Mm -hmm. At least I'd seen him quite frequently, although I didn't read very much about him committed suicide and both were at the peak of their careers and this has um, drawn a lot of attention to suicide and uh, the um, uh, news has uh, started to uh, I mean, journalists people who organize the news have started to look at statistics and they tell us that uh, there are 45,000 suicides this in a year. I think I think they mean in a year, and the number of suicides has risen in every state of the United States. It doesn't say anything about other countries, uh, but I think, and I haven't seen news about other countries, but I have the impression that it's going on in other countries as well. I, in fact, know of two people. Uh, in other countries that committed suicide in the 90s. Uh, and uh, the, the, most of the people who are committing suicide or the, uh, the, the, um, the, the rate has increased, I think they say 30% since 1999. It's increased more than that, up to 43% among people uh, in middle age between uh, the 40s and the 60s. I'm interested that that's now considered to be middle age. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, and the, that is people who are doing relatively well in life. People who are at the peak of their careers. Um, now, I'm sure not everybody is at the peak of their careers. And the problem with suicide is you can't ask people after they've done it why they did it. Right. Um, <clears throat> And while one has uh, uh, contacts with uh, others who've known the person who committed suicide, who, you, so you can talk about this to some extent, that's only with a few. Um, so the question is, why should uh, suicide be increasing now? Uh, and it seems to have been increasing at exactly the, in exactly the same period since the middle of the last century as the rate of globalization and our awareness of globalization has been increasing. So does it have anything to do with globalization? Um, I, uh, I, you had something to uh, well, yeah, respond yeah, to that? I, I was going to make, I was going to make two observations. First of all, I, I, I don't think too many hermits uh, commit suicide. I, I think I think suicide is uh, uh, as much a social action as it is an action of frustration. Um, I, I think the the person who kills himself or herself is making a statement uh, uh, to those left behind, uh, and certainly a desire to depart the scene. Yes, I understand that. But I think it's also a very healthy component of, of leaving a statement. And the, the second thing I'd like to make an observation about is that I, mean, I remember about 20 or so, 15 years ago, when I became aware of what was going on in uh, the Palestinian uh, camps uh, after suicide bombers um, killed themselves. I mean, the, the kids playing would have these these baseball cards of the suicide bombers faces um, that they'd be trading back and forth with each other. I mean, these these people had attained martyrdom, but they had also attained fame. So I've been thinking about this topic since you mentioned it yesterday. And it occurred to me that with the increasing rate of globalization and everything that's available now um, on social media platforms and just this very discussion, for example, I did not know who Anthony Bourdain was 48 hours ago. Uh, I certainly did not know who the fashion uh, designing woman was for the handbags until 96 hours ago. But nevertheless, because of the, the rate of the change and the platforms that exist now, um, this kind of uh, 
perpetuity, if you will, is is ensured. So somehow there's like a connection there between this increasing potential and the fact that people living in solitude who are hermits probably don't usually kill themselves. So I, I, I have to try to connect those two facets in my mind. Well, I think uh, in order to see this in the context of uh, accelerating social change, one needs to begin by uh, remembering that uh, in the middle of the last century, it was a sin to commit suicide. Oh, sure. Your life was not your own to terminate. Uh, it was up to God to decide when you were going to die. And I remember very clearly the attitude towards suicide in the 1950s. Um, and that, of course, has completely changed. Uh, and I think that uh, the, the main thing that one can learn from this, if I mean, it's interesting that we should talk about, be talking about learning something from suicides, but it is that uh, everything that has to do with social life, is changing, and as we've said several times on, on our series here, uh, in globalization because of the number of people interacting with each other and what that does to the relationships we have. Uh, it changes the quality, it increases the number of relationships we have, it changes the quality, therefore, of the relationships we have, and it then changes the nature of social life. and. And I think that, um, I mean, my big quarrel with psychiatrists is that they, they, they deal with the brain and it's the, problem, the problems that they're dealing with are social problems, not um, mental problems. And as the uh, number of relationships that each of us has uh, keeps increasing and our, so the nature of our social life increase, uh, changes, uh, it's difficult for us to keep up with it. And that's what brings about um, uh, different attitudes towards life. Mm -hmm. uh, and some people get very depressed. And um, I think that depression is the um, cause of suicide that gets mentioned most. Right. But um, uh, the question is, um, why should nobody used to talk about depression in the middle of the last century, I don't think. Uh, and now everybody talks about depression. Um, so um, the, uh, I would say that um, globalization really is related to an, ex uh, a, 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 an accelerating increase in the number of suicides. I, I would, and it would be very interesting. I would agree with that. Uh, and, with uh, what's going on in other countries. I mean, it's interesting that the news so far says in every American state um, uh, and doesn't compare different states um, and, and doesn't try to c compare the US with other countries. Uh, well, but it would I, be I, interesting I, to know. Yeah, I, I think it'll, it'll I'll, I can do a little bit of a check on that before next week. That, that shouldn't be too terribly hard to find. Um, I, I did see one of the headlines about the study saying more suicides in the U.S. Uh, than deaths by gun violence. So uh, that, that's how high that rate is. But uh, with, with a little yeah. bit of casting around, it should be easy to, to find out if that's a trend that occurs across the whole world. I, I'll look that up for next week. The other thing that we should mention is that uh, there's a lot of... Um, discussion now about whether we, sh we, we should each have the right as one of our legal rights to terminate our own life when we decide it's time. And um, uh, it's uh, um, legal in s some US states, I think, but mm -hmm. very few, and in some countries and not others. And uh, I'm sure you read about this uh, distinguished scientist in Australia who was 104 and in good health but decided it was, the, the, uh, it was time. And he uh, flew to Switzerland and uh, 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 engaged in what they call assisted suicide. Like so the, uh, the, the general attitude towards life has changed um, with this changing social situation. You're just and one wonders what what that suggests for the future. Where are we going? 
um, well, we can since we can also decide what sex we want to be now. Um, something in the news today was that it should be uh, um, every every 16 year old should be given uh, given the choice to decide at the age of 16. Um, <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, so it's uh, um, society is taking over from nature. It's very unusual. I'm, I'm, I. I certainly could not have predicted it when I was 16 years old that uh, this would have unfolded over the next 40 or 50 years. It's hard to hard to grasp. Um, are you sure you're not having a lot of these these thoughts because you had a birthday this week? <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's going to be very interesting to see how this develops because uh, it's the We've been talking about social change for so long and bringing up different aspects of it, looking at it from different uh, perspectives. Mm. But this is probably the most interesting thing that we've come across that, that uh, can be related to social change and um, really makes one uh, ask very serious questions about um, how the um, uh, evolution of human life from small communities uh, to a global community of 10 billion or so is going to change what it means to be human. Well, this this is about as stark and dramatic as, as you can get. Um, this idea of um, laying down one's life uh, for no apparent reason. I, I think we might be the only species that, that does this. Uh, it's contrary to evolution, which is constantly striving uh, for natural selection and for survival and for continuance of life. And it, there is something going on now that we have inadvertently created with globalization, with increasing contacts between each of us, that is, in fact, increasing the rate that people desire to choose to end their own lives. And that's very troubling. That's contrary to a lot of basic instincts. There's one other thing that we should mention before um, we forget is suicide bombing. Suicide bombing. The, the fact that bombing. Oh yes. The the fact that uh, uh, in a completely different context, um, there's been increasing uh, publicity for people who choose to end their own lives by committing some sort of criminal act, uh, which we've categorized as terrorism uh, and that has arisen that has increased at the same time mm -hmm. well, um, that goes back to those baseball cards that the children in the in the Middle East uh, the Palestinian camps have of the suicide bombs yes, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah but I'm wondering whether um, I mean terrorism is reckoned to have begun with the uh, Irish in England at the, at the end of the 60s I can't remember whether there was any suicide um, I don't remember anything about suicides then. Just the hunger strike, um, Bobby Sands and those guys. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it it may be parallel, mm -hmm. um, which would make it easier to understand, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, otherwise it's been you know must be just those Muslims who do that sort of thing. Is the general attitude. Um, so. Um, I think that um, it, it's much more productive to see all these things in the larger context uh, because it should help us to understand social change, which, as I've said before, is probably the least well studied um, subject in social science, <laughs> social change. Well, it's, it, I think I think that's going to end soon. It soon will become the most studied topic of social science. So, well, thank you very much, Professor Spooner. Um, enjoy your uh, your weekend, and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Good. See you then. Thank you.